Alright, welcome back. Uh, so we pretty much have a somewhat functional game. Now let's make it better. So you see how we have a lot of pineapple here. We want to keep track of how many pineapple we picked up. Uh, so how do we do that? Uh, well, we have to do a little bit of math, unfortunately. But it's not too bad, I promised. So let's open up Notepad. Uh, we'll do a little bit of algebra. So if you have not taken algebra, this is a quick lesson. If you have, this is a quick review. So let's just start from simple math expression. So let's say 1 plus 2 is equals to 3, right? Alright, that's very simple. Um, so let's, what, what if we replace this 1 and 2, those number with something else? Uh, why don't we call a, okay? A variable, a, is equals to 1. And why don't we just pick another name, b, b is equal to 2. What happens if you do a plus b? Well, a is 1, so that's 1, plus b is 2, 2 is here, and that's just 1 plus 2, so that's 3. So you see, a plus b is the exact same thing as 1 plus 2, because a is 1, b is 2. Alright, um, so that's pretty simple. Uh, so how does how did that help us here, right? So let's just say we have a score, right? In the beginning, you start off the game with a score of zero, like most games. So we just say score is equal to zero. And whenever you pick up a new pineapple, we want to add one point. So how do we do that? Well, we want to do score. That's the new score is equal to the old score plus one. So what is that? That is zero plus one, which is one. Okay, well, it's not too bad. And then we'll do, let's say we pick up another pineapple, right? We ate this one, we ate the second pineapple. Score is equal to score plus one again. Now what is that? One, so that's equals to, score is one now, right? One plus one is equals to two. So etc. 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 So you just need to remember, every time we eat a pineapple, we add one point to the score, and that will count how many pineapple we picked up. Okay, so now let's implement that in Construct. So we had to do that in the event sheet. So we need to create the, remember, we create the variable called score and set to zero in the beginning. So right click, uh, we want to add global variable and we just call that score and so it's a number uh, and its initial value is zero. Click okay. All right, so now we have a score equal to zero. Okay, now what happened when we, uh, let's say we start the layout. Okay, every time we restart the level, we want to reset the score. So on the start of a level, we want to go to system, and then you want to go to variable, set the variable. Uh, so set score to zero. So we're just setting it, basically doing score equal to zero. So we set the score to zero in the beginning of a game. All right, and then now what happened when we uh, like collect the pineapple? Well, we want to add one point to the score, right? Like just like this. So how do we do that? We so whenever we pick up a pineapple, we want to go to the variable add to. We want to add one to score, right? Add to score the value of one. Add one to the score, and that will keep track of how many um, points we got. All right, so now we got the variable. Now we need to display it somewhere um, because we need to show it, right? So now go back to the level. Hmm. Okay, so now let's say we right click, add a new object. Uh, let's see if there is a text object somewhere that we can display or text. Okay, we're just gonna put it here. And this is the score display. Uh, and then what text we're we gonna put? We're just gonna say like score right now. Whoops! What's going on? Oh, let's save this first. I don't want to lose everything. Don't tell me you crashed. Yikes! Yikes. Okay, well, that's why we saved, right? Okay, well, let's try to load this. 
I guess they really don't like it when I put a colon um, on this text. All right, so here we go. We just do score or something like that. <laughs> okay. All right, so that's why you save, okay? Because stuff could crash and mess you up. Okay, so we have this score, this play. It's just a text. Um, maybe, well, if you play this game right now, You still get the score here, right? But if Hello. you welcome to platform. But you can see like the score kind of just like it's it's it it it, it stay in one place. We want it to like follow us so we can actually um, see it wherever we go, like a user interface text. Um so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a new layer. Um so if you click here, we can create a uh, new layer somehow. <laughs> Let's see, add layer at the top. Okay, so we're gonna call this the user interface UI. User interface layer. Um, and then we're gonna set the parallax. We're just gonna set this zero x or zero comma zero, okay? Just trust me, this will work. Uh, and then we need to click on the score and set the layer to the UI layer. So we set it to this layer. And then we click play. And let's see what happened. Hello, welcome to Platform World. All right, it follow us around, so that's perfect now. But we want to put it like here, so we can actually see it better. Um, right here. I want this to make this bigger, like twenty, maybe fifty. Do I want to put a colon there? Okay, maybe not. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, hey, look. Okay, all right. It worked this time. Okay. Um, score. All right. Um, so now that kind of work. Uh, wait. Hmm. Okay. Well. Anyway. So that kind of work. Um, whenever we play the game now, it will. Hello. Welcome to. It will stay on the corner. World. But it doesn't display our uh, doesn't display our score, so we need to work on that. We need to display the text like score and then like the actual score and print it out. So how do we do that? So in the beginning, we start with score zero. So we just do score zero. Okay, and then whenever we pick up a pineapple, we need to update the score. So we need to add a new function. Uh, we're going to the score display. Uh, so let's see. We want to set the text first. Mm. Let's see. Set the text. So we want to say so like with the text. Make sure you keep this quotes here. Okay. Everything they go inside these quotes. Score. Okay. So we have the score first. All right. If, if we do that, it would just print out the score. Um, well, let's test if it worked, right? Like, remember we start with a score of zero, and now if we hit a pineapple, we should Hello. update just score. Hello, welcome to Platform World. Okay, right, so it worked. So now we have the score, we want to add more to it. We want to, add, want to actually print out the number of the score here. So we want to add a new event, score text, and we want to append to it. Uh, so text, append text, and then you would do STL means string, and then we just put in the variable name score like this. So STL open parentheses score. Okay, that will turn the score because the score is a number to begin with. Turn it into a string. A string means a text, and it will print it. Um, just trust me, it work like that. Hello, welcome to Platform World. All right, see, I work. Two. All right, and then if we die, it should hopefully reset the score. Hello, right. welcome to Platform World. All right, so work on that, uh, and then we're gonna continue making our game. I'll see you soon.